Alright, what's for one the best sniper you're ever gonna be playing, Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akilang yeah, Flora 2. So yeah, for today we are gonna be checking out the Corruptor Carbine, and my god, once you get used to it, it's probably the best thing you're ever gonna be playing. It's a high damage dealing, healing sniper rifle. It's both for the medic and the sharpshooter. I'm just gonna be enabling cheats again, just so I can, you know, get it faster, so let go. So here it freaking is. It is a medic weapon by default, but I feel like it works way, way better on the sharpshooter. So this thing is gonna be a tier 4 weapon, which means you can upgrade it once for that spicy extra damage. And just look at the ammunition. J just look at the ammunition, 104. I mean, do also keep in mind, it has a magazine size of 6, and it's also a bolt action. Well, yeah, sniper rifle. So it is gonna be shooting quite slow, especially on the medic. I mean, the sharpshooter has, you know, marksman, so you can at least increase the shooting speed by 25%. So this is how I normally play my sharpshooter, and that's probably how we're gonna be playing it today. I mean, for some reason, I had tactical reload probably from that weekly I've done. So yeah, this is it, the Corruptor Carbine. I mean, let's just go and play. It's Enough just, loot. I mean, you're just gonna see, man. I do have a freaking skin on it, I don't know why. Why, but I mean this is what it does it's a freaking bolt action sniper it does a lot of damage as you're gonna be seeing soon but it has one cool feature you have the alt fire if you actually shoot something with the alt fire and then you know kill that thing you just shot yep it's gonna be doing healing and it's also gonna be killing all the trash it's just a powerful weapon man if you know how to time those alt fires like, let's say right here. Yeah, you can get out of sticky situations quite, quite fast. I mean, on top of that, if you shoot, like, trash, you don't even have to headshot it to kill it. So, yeah, quite an alright freaking pick. I mean, I don't know about this thing on the medic, but on the sharpshooter, it's probably gonna be, like, my main freaking gun. Or should I say at least a replacement for the railgun. Sharpshooter does struggle with trash, and this weapon just obliterates the trash. Fair enough, you do have to, you know, use the alt fire. Come see me. The but if you know how to do that, pretty straightforward. Well then, auto fill, skip the trader, and let's see what we can impossibly do. I mean, if you use this thing with rack em up, yeah, it's gonna be melting Fleshbone Scrakes very, very fast. But yeah, I'm also gonna be playing Spillway for today. I don't know why, because I enabled cheats, so it's not even gonna give me my you know, daily objective. But this map, yep, it's pretty sharpshooter friendly. Okay, Spooder, come on. Okay, my man just doesn't want to get kaput there. I mean, look at this, a lot of cysts just headshot one with that, you know, spore attached to him. And he is giga, giga dead. Oh, Spooders, come on. Okay, I can't even see where that one I shot with shot went. So yeah, just use the alt fire as much as you can. If you know you're gonna be shooting at something, you're gonna one shot or two shot. And it does recharge quite slowly, but I didn't actually find that to be much of a problem. Okay, stalker, yep, I'm just gonna use that on you just to kill the spooders and other things. Wait, what the... Okay, I'm just gonna go down, because... Yep, I do see a lot of potential threats heading my way. I mean, something cool to note as well, the alt fire actually does stun, you know, the Zeds in slow motion if you have the level 25 skills. Now, of course, I just, like, shot a freaking Eidor. Man just doesn't want to get stunned, no matter what, boy. But, yeah, I man, honestly, probably this update has the best weapons out of every freaking update. I mean, shame the better weapons are, you know, DLC weapons. To what can you do? Tripwire need money, I guess. Hopefully for killing floor 3. Well then, auto fill. And let's see what we can impossibly do. Overall, just like a satisfying weapon, if you don't upgrade this thing at all, you can still have the F and fall with it. It's just a solid freaking killing machine. And on top of that healing machine, oh look at this man. Yep, destroyed. I mean, I'm not even crouching for, you know, extra damage. I feel like this weapon just doesn't really need it, but if I'm gonna be playing multiplayer, definitely crouch. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I stun? See, there we go. Alt fire actually stuns in slow motion. Boy. Oh, bro. Why is this thing so good? I don't even know. You do have to be accurate with it, which... You know, beginning players might suffer a little bit, but all in all, 
if you get used to it, like I said before, it's just solid, man. I mean, what can I say? Okay, I don't know where the hell that freaking husk is. Up there he is. Why are you here? Oh, on top of that, I'm playing the sharpshooter. I can just, like, freeze the dude. Oh, my God. Yep, rest in pepperonis, boys. This weapon is here to stay. And the Zeds... Yeah, they're just gonna be suffering for a little bit. No, I do have to reload it, no? Okay, I just have to, like, bash. Wait, how did that bash? Okay, I think I just got, like, locked in my... Well, yeah, animation there. Oh, we got some quarter points. Alright, the man just gonna freeze you up as easy as that. Oh, bro. Alright, it's okay, go flesh bone, though. Boy. Yep, quick little parry on him. Maybe freeze him up, headshot him once, do the spore, headshot him twice. I mean, if there was, like, some, you know, trash right next to him, they would have just died. Yeah, man, definitely a satisfying weapon, just no doubt about it. Yeah, what's up, man? Just chilling. Pretty much. Okay, this is what I meant. If you just buy it, you know, the Corruptor Carbine, yeah, you can still have the FN Fall, Compound Bow, Crossbow, M14. I mean, this is most likely gonna be a combination. And you can even upgrade the M14. You have the Corruptor Carbine. I do believe it's, you know, fairly balanced. It just rewards people that know how to, you know, headshot. And you can heal with it. You can, you know, kill trash with it. It's just a strong-ass freaking pick. No, oh, and here come the werewolves. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's shoot like giga freaking slow though, so you do have to like watch out for that. Like I said, on the medic, I'm probably not gonna be bothering with it all that much. But I do see its freaking potential though. We did actually shoot the dude. Oh yes, I did. <laughs> Easy freaking clappage. Okay, cheeky little reload. Here we go. Freaking bloats. Wait, this is already way 4. I mean, this weapon is just a giga freaking fun. Oh my- I mean, this is where this weapon shines. Bunch of spoilers. No problem. Just shoot one with the alt for and kill that one. And everything's just dead. Yep. Exactly what this weapon is all about. I mean, on top of that, if you just want to heal... Yeah, just go stand in the cloud. Easy as that. Okay, Siren. Did I kill her? Nope, I don't think I did. Hey, boy. Oh, war the radars behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna go down, because I feel like there's gonna be, like, a lot of flesh bones shortly here. Boy. Oh, yo, I mean, I can just, like, heal and run away. If I just, like, shoot something that's in front of my ass. See, look. It's just so good. Okay, boy. And yeah, boy. So you guys can let me know what you think about this weapon. I mean, just look at the ammunition. I'm not running out at all. I can just kill... Well, yeah, just multiple... Where the hell did you come from, fam? Okay, just gonna catch out you. Yes, Maybe do the spore on you. How did I miss the head? Nay! Okay, there we go. Now I can just go and heal casually. So, yeah, you do have to be giga freaking precise. Otherwise, this weapon is gonna feel... Yeah, quite bad. If you don't know what you're doing with it. But if you know what you're doing with it, it's gonna be good. No, oh, bro. Freaking screws, man. I swear to God, what are they doing even? Oh, he's got a spore on his freaking weapon there. But he died. Oh, it's already the freaking boss. I mean, I'm just like hoping for, I know, Abomination, King Fleshbone, Patriarch, Major, anything but Hans. No, it's not Abomination. <laughs> Easy clap. Okay, he did spawn right over there, so let's go directly towards his ass. Oh, I got freeze nades as well. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Okay, let's just do that. Really freaking quick. Get some rack mops on him and then just like whoop him. Yeah, with the Corruptor Carbine. Oh, I can just like shoot these dudes and just like destroy him midway. Okay, just shoot you up. Oh my god, he gets stunned from this as well. Yeah, I just love this weapon to all hell. I mean, you do have to be a little bit cautious about the Abomination because my man, eh, he can do the occasional suck and it can catch you by surprise. But for the most part, yep, my man's a pushover. Okay, let's just go down here. Just avoid them as much as I can. Maybe freeze them up for the second time. How did I miss the easiest headshot of my life? No, oh, and the Abomination spawns are just... Well, yeah, doing their thing. Oh my god. Yep, he only did one damage to me. Just one single damage. And I do believe that was from the Abomination spawn. No, I don't even know. Oh, there he is. My man. No, I just took a little bit more damage because I didn't run away fast. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, I couldn't do it. So the reload is the only bad point. 
on this weapon. But, I mean, it just had to had at least one negative to it. I mean, it heals, does giga damage, kills trash. I mean, I don't know. Why are there so many mines, fam? Man was doing work. I mean, it also penetrates through Zeds. That's always a bonus. Boy, you're just getting rid of your fire in mine. Oh, can I freeze him again? Oh, yo. Yep, as easy as that. But, yeah, man, like I said, this whole update just has the best weapons out of every single update, I swear to god, I just like, like, all of them. So yeah, this is how I played my Corruptor Carbine, if you guys wanna see me play it on the Medic as well, on some multiplayer, yeah, do let me know. But yeah, this was pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed, do let me know what you guys think of the Corruptor Carbine. Again, for me, one of my favorites on the Sharpshooter. But yeah, with that being said, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.